Well, hello everyone. Um, this is actually take two of this video. The first one I've filmed and I, when I had my phone, which is what I used to film, I had it setting up on the table. Uh, my head wasn't in the shot. So I did a 13 minute video with my head out of the shot. So not that, you know, my face is important in the video, but what can you do? Anyway, let me try this for take two. Um, I was going to do this video yesterday. Today is November the 10th, 2021. Um, but I want to do this video in regard to this record right here. This is the very first Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers album, which was released November the 9th, 1976, 45 years ago yesterday. And being a Tom Petty fan, I couldn't let the day go by without, um, talking about Tom Petty. So, um, what I wanted to do is rank the 10 songs on this record um you know didn't have much to say about it but let me just go ahead and get started with this and let me know what you think so, um, before i get started please subscribe to the channel i know um, i don't ask that a lot but i'm really holding stagnant at 149 150 subscribers and i would like to get i would love to have 200 by the end of this year um yeah don't know what else to say. If you watch the channel, if you like it, please subscribe. So, um, without further ado, let me jump into this. Uh, number 10 is the second to last track on the album. It's called Luna. And it's kind of like a an R&B sounding song. And I apologize if I'm looking down. I'm looking at lyrics. Um, so, bear with me on that because I don't have them all memorized. I'm not that uh, brilliant. And... Um, Luna's kind of like this R&B song. Tom's kind of got a higher pitch voice to the song. Um, just really, really kind of, it's not, it's not my favorite song. Let me just say that. Um, but before I start this again, uh, I don't think Tom Petty had a bad song in his career. So keep that in mind. But the song starts with white light, cut a scar in the sky, thin line of silver. The night was all clouded with dreams wind made me shiver just tom petty knew how to write a song they had a the heartbreakers had an expression of don't bore us get to the chorus because they didn't want to get into like the jam band sing scene or like led zeppelin or grateful dead they just wanted to put out a good song in three minutes and call it a day so number 10 is luna um not much to say about it it's a it's a good song tom petty's singing in his upper register Number nine is uh, Stranger in the Night, which is really neat. Um, Tom Petty at this time, the band consisted of Petty, Mike Campbell on lead guitar, Ben Tench on the piano, Stan Lynch on the drums, and Ron Blair on the bass guitar. And there was often contention with Stan Lynch in the studio. Um, the producers didn't always think he was the best studio drummer. I know specifically Jimmy Iovine. Um, who produced Dan the Torpedoes, wasn't a big fan of Stan Lynch in the studio. But um, Anyway, so this first record, there's some guest musicians, and this is one of the songs where we have um, Jim Gordon on the drums, as well as Dwight Twilley singing some background vocals. And this is one of those songs, there's kind of some like background, like some echo kind of singing. It's like, stranger in the night, night. That's kind of how this the song sounds. And um, it's just never one that's really stuck out to me, but um, it's still a fun song. Number eight is called Fooled Again. Um, I Don't Like It is the subtitle. And it, it's just a, a killer song. Bow, 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 it's kind of how it starts. Um, great guitar playing. Just The Heartbreakers are just one of the tightest bands ever. And um, yeah, I, I regret never having seen them. Fooled Again starts out strange voice on the telephone telling me i better leave you alone why don't somebody say what's going on uh oh i think i've been through this before looks like i'm the fool again looks like i'm the fool again i don't like it i don't like it so um yeah that's a um it's a good song i love it um again i love this i love this whole album i don't hate a single song uh number seven is the wild one forever and this is kind of like a ballad, kind of like He's a Rebel. 
and um, leader of the pack, kind of that sounding kind of song from like the 60s. And um, again, it's kind of like his motorcycle, you know, ballad. Um, it starts by Tom Petty singing, Well, the moon sank as the wind blew and the street lights slowly died. Yeah, they call you the wild one, said stay away from her. Said she couldn't love no one if she tried. So it's just a, um, it's just a good ballad. Um, yeah, they call you the wild one. Said stay away from her. Just it's Tom Petty, twenty six years old, killing it. So the wild one forever is number seven. Uh, anything that's rock and roll um, is number six, and um, there's some good. Some, let me see. How does it start? Some friends of mine and me stayed up all through the night, rocking pretty steady till the sky went light, and I didn't go to bed, didn't go to work. I picked up the telephone and told the boss he was a jerk. So it was kind of like his anti-establishment song. Um, I love, he also says, your mama don't like it when you run around with me, which is a very Southern thing to say, to say that you're running around with somebody. Um, Tom Petty always stuck to his Southern roots, coming from Gainesville, Florida, so... Um, that's my number six is anything that's rock and roll is fine or well, anything that's rock and roll is, excuse me, but anything that's rock and roll is fine. Top five, number five, the hometown blues. Now this song reminds me a lot of Topanga cowgirl from the first mud crutch album in 2008, which is ironic because I always forget until I look up the credits that Randall Marsh, the drummer of mud crutch plays on the song. And also on this track is Donald Duck Dunn, who played many, many sessions in the you know, 70s, 60s and 70s. I'm just a great player. Um, baby, don't wait. Baby, can't go. Just It's, it's just a really good song. Um, baby, can't wait. Baby, got to go. Got to do a number on a late night show. Do a little song, do a little dance. Gonna make the best of her big chance. It, Tom's really straining his voice on this song, which is kind of neat. Um, different kind of vocalization from Tom Petty. So that's my number five. Uh, number four is the opening track to this album. It's called Rockin' Around With You. And um, Rockin' Around With You, actually, um, on Tom Petty's last tour in 2017, he opened, I think, all the concerts with this song. And um, it was the first time that he had played it since this tour of the first album. And it's just a great song, hardly any lyrics to it. But the chorus is like kind of a, this echo where he's like, and I can't, can't stop, stop thinking about how I, I dig, dig. If that makes sense, um, check out the song. It's really good. Um, just a killer song. It's got a great bass line by Ron Blair. And um, it's one of those Heartbreaker songs that I jump back into from time to time. I just love it. It's a short little song, but it's a great one. Number three, this might surprise people that it's not my number two or my number one because this was one of the two big hits on the album, and that's the song Breakdown. Um, of course, you know, great um, drum intro, just a boom, pop, boom, boom, pop, boom, pop, boom, boom, pop, boom, and then, of course, Mike Campbell coming in with bow, no, 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 no. Um, huge hit for Tom Petty. I know he didn't play it much on the last tour, but he played it on a couple of shows toward the end. And I know Mike Campbell has expressed how happy he was that they finally pulled it back out to play. Cause he loved playing that song because they usually went to like this jam live. And, um, there's a great version on the live anthology box set where they break into hit the road Jack. And it's really great. So check that version out. If you don't know it, I mean, this song you should know backwards and forwards, but there's some great live versions out there. So breakdown is number three. Number two is Mystery Man, which is a country song. It's got a um, great slide playing, slide guitar playing by Mike Campbell. There's some great live versions on YouTube. I don't think they played this much in Tom Petty's later years, even into the 80s. I don't even think they played it, really, because it's such a deep cut. Um, but it's one of those songs where I wish that Tom Petty had made a country record, like a, a purely country record, because it's just such a great tune. And um, um, he, he uses the word, he's like, incognito, baby, you're so cruel. Just, he's got some great, great lines in the album. I don't mind, take my hand, honey, I want to be your mystery man. 
Just, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Which, of course, then brings me to number one. Number one, the biggest hit off the hit record. Probably one of Tom's biggest hits. Probably the song that he's most well-known for other than Free Fallen. And that would be American Girl, which, of course, has um, hints of Bob Dylan, has hints of the birds, has hints of where the heartbreakers were going to go in their next few years in their career. It's one of those songs where if it's on the radio, I'm going to play it all the way through. No matter what part of the song I find it on, I'm not going to skip that song. Um, it's one of those songs where I would love to play it live at some point. Um, just shows how great of a singer Tom Petty was and how tight of a band the Heartbreakers were. Um, yeah, you should know American Girl if you don't um, already know it. So listen to some American Girl to celebrate Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Debut record, self-titled. Um, 45 years um, since its release. Check it out. Tom, we love you. I hate that I never got to see you live, but um, I'm glad I have all your records. So let me know what you think of this record, um, where it falls in the Petty catalog for you. And again, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I would love it. Again, I would love to see 200 subscribers by Christmas. And um, yeah, I'm happy to get this get this video out there for you. So take care and God bless Tom Petty. We love him.